So real world example two, find the scale factor of a dilation. So we have a photography question. So this is to create different size prints, you can adjust the distance between a film negative and the enlarged print by using a photographic enlarger. Suppose the distance between the light source C and the negative is 45 millimeters, that's CP. To what distance the PP prime? Should you adjust the enlarger to create a 22.75 centimeter wide print from a 35 millimeter wide negative XY? So I'm going to redraw this diagram so we can have a look at it a different way. So this is point C, and here's our rays. So this here is going to be our x and our y prime, and this is our point p prime. Now the length of this is 22.75 centimeters here. Then we're told that we have um, x, y and we have a distance, so the distance for CP is 45 millimeters. So here, this is going to be P, this distance here is going to be 45 millimeters. So this line here is 45. Now it also tells us that our wide print X, Y prime, is 35 millimeters. So this here, this line across here, this is going to be our x and our y, and the distance or the length of this line is 35 millimeters. So this unit here is in centimeters. We need to change it to millimeters. So we can multiply by 10. So 227.5 millimeters. So this is the length here. So the question is asking us, what distance do we need this length to be here? For this to be 227.5 millimeters, if we have a 35 millimeter here. So, we can adjust this distance. So we need to work it out. So the first thing we do, we're looking at ratios and we're going to look at finding the scale factor. So step one, we need to find the scale factor. So to do that, we're going to take the x prime, y prime, and we're going to divide it by x, y. So this will be 227.5 divided by 35. So this is going to give us K, which is our scale factor. And this is going to be 6.5. So we know that this image is 6.5 times bigger than this image here. Now, the relationship or the ratio between C and P and C and P1 so there's two ways to do this. So CP, this is the uh, 45. Okay. And we know that C to P1 is going to be 6.5 times bigger than this distance. Okay. So there's a relationship. So what we need to do is find. So we can multiply, so 6 multiplied by 40, 6.5, sorry, multiplied by 45. This will give us 292.5 millimeters. Now this distance that we've just found is this distance from C 
to P1. But we need the distance from P to P1. So we're going to minus the 45. So the distance from, oops, wrong pen. So to find P, P1, which is in yellow, we're going to, we need to do 292.5 minus 45. And this will give us a final answer of 247.5 millimetres. Okay, we could check this as well using uh, ratios. So just checking using another method. So the relationship 227.5 divided by 35 is equal to from C to P divided by 45 because we know that they have to be in proportion. So rearranging. CP is going to be equal to 45 multiplied by 227.5 divided by 35, which is 292.5. So CP is 2.295. And then we multi minus the 45, which will give us the 247.5 millimeters.